Hi friends, welcome to Avadu the Yoga. This is Abhilash here. How are you doing? I hope uh, you people are doing well in your respective spaces. And today we are going to do a balancing posture called Crow Pose or Kakasan, which is one of the most beneficial balancing posture which can help you to develop your mental tranquility. It is very easy to practice than it looks at first. Let's go and do the posture. Okay, when you go for uh, crow pose or kakasan, first of all, you have to squat down and sit on your toes. Then bring your hands down and the hands will be between your legs and bring your palms down, flatten and the palm will be just under the shoulders. And spread your fingers so that it form a claw of a crow, same like a claw of a crow now if you are a beginner initially uh, you will not be able to come to the posture because of the fear factor because people fear that they will fall down and maybe they will hurt their uh, face and all so once you conquer that fear you will be able to come in the posture nicely so as a beginner first you come in the position you uh, sit on your toe and bring your palms down spread your fingers and first raise uh, your leg and toes and lean forward so that the body weight shift on your palms and go back so this is uh, as a beginner you can practice initially now again on your toes lean forward shift your body weight on your palm so again go back so by doing this what will happen is your wrist will get strengthened so you will be able to come to the posture nicely so again we'll do on your toe and shift your weight and now the body weight is on your palms again go back you can do three four times and uh, if you can able to do more that is also good and uh, now i'll show you the actual posture on your toe palms down spread your fingers and lean forward body weight is shifting on your palm and slowly raise your legs up and look straight come back and one more thing i want to tell when you come in the posture most of the people what they do is they look down straight away down so i suggest you to look a little bit straight around three four feet away from your mat again i'll show you the posture on your toe palms spread and one more thing I, uh, I I tell you when you come down make sure that you bend your elbow your elbow you the elbow become a flat surface so that the knee can comfortably rest on your elbow so like this now your elbow is flattened and see it's comfortable for the knee to rest on your elbow so these are the two things uh, you have to concentrate while doing the crow pose. Now, I'll show you the actual pose. On your toe, palms down, spread your fingers and slowly lean forward so the body weight is shifted on to the palms and elbow now formed a flat surface so that the knee can rest on your elbow now look forward three four feet away from your mat and slowly raise your leg and and in the posture you can breathe you can sustain as long as possible and you have to breathe while you are in the posture so that you can sustain more and come back so this is how uh, we do crow pose or kakasan. Let's talk about the benefits of crow pose. If you do crow pose on a regular basis, it will strengthen your wrist, forearm 
and shoulders and it can improve your concentration level also that's the best part of crow pose it will increase the concentration so if ask uh, children to do this posture you know, definitely uh, it will strengthen their hands and uh, crow pose will help you to open your chest which will uh, enable you to enhance or enlarge your lung or it will increase your breathing capacity so so these are the benefits uh, you can avail uh, when you do crow pose hope you all uh, like the video and uh, you can share with your friends also uh, as usual and uh, if you didn't subscribe my channel till now you can subscribe right now uh, and uh, thank you so much uh, for watching and uh, listening to me we will see you with another very productive video very soon uh, until then thank you so much bye bye